Welcome to Al Stock Trades. In this channel, I love to help retail investors go from gambling and losing money to making strategic investments that will ultimately build generational wealth. Literally, today is going to be a special video. Just yesterday, I went ahead and made a analysis, a very comprehensive analysis on the open door stock. You can look at it in my past videos. But what I want to show you is that within 24 hours, literally, uh, Mr. Uh, Khan here went ahead and um, initiated a outperform and buy at the amount of nine dollars in the open door stock. Now, you know, you may think, you know, nine dollars is not a lot, but you have to understand how these analysts work. I like to set price targets in the next five, six years. That's just how I like to work, right? And that's how you do, that's not even just how I like to work. That's how value investors work. That's how setting price target works. But with these analysts, they're confronted with a series of constraints that they have to get it right within 12 months, okay? So this most likely $9 price target is a 12 month process, okay? So he initiated a buy and he has a pretty good success rating if you compare it to other analysts. And this is what he had to say. And I'm gonna read it to you and we'll continue on with our tech, technical analysis here. So uh, Truist Securities, which he's a part of, uh, right there, uh, Mr. Khan here, uh, Wednesday has started coverage on open door technologies with a buy rating on the basis of an attractive risk reward in its stock price. Ladies and gentlemen, it has gotten to a point now where the stock price has gotten so low that your risk and reward is just so appetizing when the company, if you go to my analysis yesterday, it is so uh, nearing, uh, you know, it's a free cash flow, net income, all of the trend lines are aligning in open doors favor. And I believe with this market uh, um, literally getting hit hard, it gives an opportunity for investors to come into the stock expecting a, a greater than average return. Now, he continues and says, with shares of open door down 66% year to date, we find the risk reward attractive and view this as a unique entry point for a generational tech disruptor with scope for meaningful growth and margin improvements over time. Now, this is he wrote to his clients. He said, fundamentally, the online real estate platform is poised to experience outsized growth in the transaction volumes and sales for the foreseeable future. As Open Door, ticker symbol OPEN, has only penetrated less than 1% of a 2.4 trillion total addressable market. Adding that, we believe the success playbook in launching new markets will continue to drive meaningful growth for Open Door. And while interest rates are on the rise, open widened spreads in its buy offers will likely help protect its margins, according to the note. The buy rating, me. meanwhile, uh, diverges from uh, the rating of the hold from this specific agency institution, though it's in line with the average Wall Street analyst, which their view is it is a buy. Now, shares of Open Door slide around 1% early morning with the hot inflation, but uh, we already know what happened with the market to that. So if you want more information on my analysis that I spend a lot of time on, you can go in my video here, is Open Door about to explode? Price target analysis, July 12th. Now, again, today's July 13th, and this particular analyst just went ahead and initiated a buy rating, so we're right on time, right? So in this particular projection, we go one year out to 2023, and we can see the price anywhere hovering from six to $16, with the median average price at around 10 bucks, which we are in line with the specific analyst for the one-year projection. Now for the 10-year projection, going 10 years into the future from 2022 all the way up to 2023, as you can see in this specific number here, 2023, we could see a stock price anywhere between $15 to around $60. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to transition on over to our technical analysis for Open Door. So what we're going to go here, this is directly from our private Discord. There'll be a link down below if you're interested. We're going to go here and look at the minute. We're also going to look at the hour. Then followed by that, we'll look at the day. And as you can see, it returns the data instantaneously. Only you can look at any stock you want. And this is just 1% of what we offer, which I'm very excited 
to bring to retail investors. Now, let's go ahead and analyze the minute chart. So as you can see off of, uh, if, you're, if you are day trading this, so we like to add fundamental and technical analysis here, we can see that we have the $4.98 as a level of support. 523 is the battleground right now, where 550 will be the next one and 578. So just copy down these uh, support and resistant lines here. Now, for the hour, again, that 540 is looking like a tough one to crack. Once it does crack, we're looking to get a leg up at around $7.58. Furthermore, if you go to the day, you can see that that 718 will be the next one that's been rejected multiple times. But once we pass that, it's literally fly, you know, fly high sailing to that price target of around $10. Now, based off of the week's projection, you can see that once we go and battle these grounds, we can start to ascend after the market um, uh, finishes off this inflation when inflation actually does peak. And who knows? The market is always prognostic of the future. So it could possibly be that inflation uh, will take down possibly um, it'll happen. The rally might happen, happen even before that. Now, what's interesting and I think the market needs to know this, is if we go down to our economic calendar here, if I can find it right there, and if we go here, we can see that on July 28th, GDP for Q2 is going to be coming. And that is going to be the day whether the United States is going to know whether it is in a recession or not. If not, we will wait until next month. If so, well, it's going to be plastered all over the media, while a lot of investors and channels like this has informed its viewers that we are most likely already in a weird-like trance of a recession. Now, if you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Again, we like to help retail in investors essentially empower them to make strategic investments and to actually analyze the fundamentals of the business without taking their money and pouring it down the drain. Now, if you like this mission and want to support it, please consider sharing this video and liking it to help with the YouTube algorithm. It is always a privilege and honor to serve each and every one of you. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.